Right, today I'm gonna to be unboxing this Luggable XL7 from Clean Air Kits. It's cleanairkits.com if you wanna access it. They sell in the United States, but they also have international versions for Canada and the rest of the world. And it's another kit that uses PC fans, and I'm excited to get into it. So let's jump in. Now this kit, similar to the new kit Tempest that we've already looked at, this is something that you will have to build yourself. So we've got some nice packing material. Uh, and what's kind of interesting with this, uh, compared to the new kit Tempest, is that you actually do come with all the, the fans that you need, which I think is, is a great thing because you don't want to have to be buying the kit and then having to buy separate fans. So you know exactly what fans you need. And these are from Cooler Master, Sickle Flow 120. Always get my numbers. So we've got seven total fans in there. We've got the main um, details of who, who's made it. And interestingly, the material of this isn't metal like we saw with the new kit Tempest, but is uh, a kind of a, a wood, I don't know what you call this. It's like not wood, but like MDF type thing. And it looks like the power is already integrated. So that seems interesting. And as with the new kit Tempest, I will be, well, attempting to, I will build it. Uh, and you'll be able to see, I'll follow all the guidelines. So as you can see, here's where obviously all the, the fans will attach to. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five fans on one side. Um, it's fairly light compared to the metal uh, that we saw with the Tempest. So we've got all the different parts. So we have the front with the five, and maybe this is the top with two more fans at the top with a handle, so you can kind of move it. Um, and then inside here, we have, I assume, the power supply. And I think that's good to include everything you need. Um, you will also need the filters. Yeah, and it also comes with the, the fan guards. And based on my experience with the Tempest, these are probably the best fan guards. They don't block the airflow too much, but they also stop people putting a pen or a finger and breaking your expensive, nice uh, Cooler Master fans. So everything, it seems, that's gonna all be there. Um, I will be following the instructions and having a look. Um, and this is what we're gonna be using for this particular device. So this is the 3M filtrates. You just have a look at what we've got. I'm not sure if these are the right side, the 2025. I think I got the wrong ones. But I've got extra ones anyway, so that's not a problem. Anyway, so be sure to like, subscribe. If you wanna see the final video, we're gonna be doing a tutorial how to build it and also doing a review and testing it in the same room that we test all of our air purifiers to see how well it does at removing particles from the air. Hey guys, we're gonna be putting together the Luggable XL uh, kit from Clean Air Kits. So this is uses seven fans. Uh, five on this side and then two on the other. One thing I really like is that they give you instructions in a nice printed color. They also have a YouTube video, which I may have to check later on. So the first thing that they recommend is orienting the grills on the outside. So these are to protect the, the fans from being damaged. So we're just gonna mount these up and we're gonna use these uh, push pins and we're gonna push them in. I'm hoping that Rodrigo is going to speed this up because I'm going to probably take a lot longer on it. I think it's important to show what's involved in these type of kits because then you know exactly what you're signing up for. Once we've got the grills on, we're going to be putting the, the fans onto them as well. I have to say these push pins are good to use. You don't need to use any tools or anything like that. You just push them in with your fingers. And we're going to do the same for, for the other side as well. I really do appreciate having something printed. I think we spend too much time on our screens as it is and having something that you can just direct to without check your phone, which in my case, the phone is the camera. So that is certainly beneficial to me. So now we're gonna add these to the, this is the top section, slightly shorter. And once we've added the pins, we're gonna add the, the fans next. Okay, so now we have all of the pins. I'm just going to check that they're all pushed in enough, just from this side. One option is actually putting it on the table and reversing it, so I'll try that with this next one. That's one option if your thumbs are getting a little tired. 
So we've got all of the, the fan guards in place. I'm now going to pull out the fans themselves. So these are the Sickle Flow 120s. So again, from the PC world, these are a pretty good brand, I've been told. They make good quality fans. And the main clear thing that they say is making sure that internally you see the hologram. So, so we we'll turn it onto this side. So I'm going to make sure that they all go to my left. And then we're going to just push them in. And there we go. There's the, the first fan in, and we're having them all on one side. So let's... One side. So again, hologram facing up, and with the wire on one side, and then pushing it in. Good. Seven minutes of construction time. I'm not going for any sort of world record, but it would be interesting to just see what my average, what the time is, the first time build. And be aware, like I am not by like, any stretch of the imagination, uh, particularly skilled at producing these type of things. That would be a good idea of what, what would be the worst case scenario of putting together one of these devices. Right, I'm gonna just do it to one side as well. Okay, so now we have all the fans are in position. I remember watching the video, they went to just check everything is pushed in. Um, this is looking pretty good. Same on this one. Okay. okay, so firmly push the pins, we've done that. Slide panels firmly into the slotted panel connectors. Okay, so we're now oh. going to have this out. So we're going to start putting the box together. So these are the, the panel connectors that are already pre pre added so that's interesting so we've got on one side we have the on one side we have this this side was a little trickier to put on but all good and then we're going to add this at the top so that's that they've taped up they've added a little bit of tape to the top of the wood it's very little small thing but obviously it does knowing from previous building a little bit of tape on something really helps it squeeze in into place when there's a tight okay so we're good so insert retainer clips into the panel center with the holes on the side insert the retainer clips into the panel holes and um, and then add these to then hook the bungee forward from the clip at the center of the long bottom to one of the back side of the fan. So the panel center. So we have a connection from here to this side. Steel wire taped to the box. Okay, yes. So that's <laughs> if you're worrying where your steel wire is, it's on the box. I'm sure I'm not the only person to wonder where it was. And so we're just gonna add this. And this will just be, I assume, just to add some make sure that the structure because this is you know it's not metal so it needs all it can now i wonder if this is strong enough so so secure the fan harness and cables along the central tension wire so the fan harness and central tension cables so one two three four five six seven so this is the seven grommet harness Okay, watch the video wasn't didn't make any clearer because I think it was an older thing. I don't know if there's a cable that's meant to go through here. It looks like it on the instructions, but I'm just going to go ahead and just um, so it basically just says plug in each of the cables following from this side to the other side. I have to say this is a quite a nice uh, design. There's this cable in the middle. It just keeps everything out of the way. Otherwise, you have to get kind of creative with what management of the wires and stuff like that. It's fairly easy putting the PC together. It's making it look nice and not let the cables run into stuff. So now we've got that. Now I might be doing something terribly wrong, so I apologize if I have. The next stage is just to, is to clean it up. I assume I'm just gonna cable tie it so that there is less, so it's more just stuck to the, so it's stuck to the middle and we're going to clip them off because the thing is I'm going to need space on both sides so I need to make sure that the cables are, are not touching so I'm just going to do my own version because the key thing is just making sure that the cables aren't on this side and getting in the way of the filter 
Yeah, also not touching, obviously not touching the fans. But then at this point we test it for a, just plug it in, fingers crossed it's gonna work. So the power's on this side. And we're just gonna look to see there's no obstructions, nothing's touching anything. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Ah, perfect. Now the next stage is to add all these foam tape along the insides of the short panels. So I'm assuming this will be inside here, and here, and here, and here. So that's going to make it easier to, to push in the filters when the time comes. It also says that you should use a putty knife, so we'll go and grab one of them. I know from doing the new kit, it was kind of tricky to, to put the, the fans in. So anything that they've designed to make that little, no, not the fans, sorry, the filters. So anything that makes that easier is a good thing. Wanted to corner, it says. Now I also have another piece. Do I add that on the other side? Fly, short panels only, corner to corner. And we're nearly ready to add the filters. So I'm just gonna see what they recommend. Now push the filters in with the with, with arrows pointing in. So interesting that the, the filters that they use are 20 by 25, which is a little different than we saw with the Corsi Rosenhol box. Uh, I'm using a putty knife here, which actually still has some putty <laughs> on it from me being not cleaning it. But, um, the airflow indicator on there that we can see, I've got my camera there. There's a little label there. You want to make sure that's firing into the device rather than out. I think it would be nice to get a bit more rubber of this rubber tape. Um, just because I can imagine this stuff being if you're not careful. I'm gonna try this again. That this stuff could be, so yeah. Aimed in. Yeah, so do use the putty knife. It does make it a little easier. And then we've got one in. We're gonna add the final one. And we're gonna make sure we get this one right from the start. This is just me, but I'm finding it a little bit easier if you put it on its side. So now we have our completed it's so about 35, 40 minutes to put together. But yeah, just, just from my perspective, it's a little easier than the new kit. Not to say that new kit isn't uh, too hard or anything, but this was just, for me, just a little easier. Let's just check again, it works still. We're gonna be testing this device in the same way we test all of ours. I think the same as the new kit, it's just so quiet. You could easily forget this was running in the background. Um, and then it's still hopefully doing the job. So we're gonna test it. Uh, they've, they've reported, they have some reported KDARs from their own testing, so we're going to be seeing how that compares with our own testing. Uh, but yeah, it's a really interesting device and fairly easy to put together. <laughs> Just a quick update, I said that they didn't give me the, the rubber strip, but it was there, it fell on the floor, so please forgive my uh, foolishness for saying that. So I'm gonna just add this strip because I feel like it will make a difference. So one of the sides I actually just did without the rubber strip, but it'll be interesting to see. Obviously this is what you'll need to do when the filters become dirty to remove them. So I'm gonna use the, perfect. Okay, so that's the Clean Air Kits Luggable XL. Complete. So we're going to take this up for testing. We test it, removing particles from the room. That's one fan speed, so it's fairly easy. We'll test it a couple of times just to double check, and then we'll look at sound level generation, energy usage, and I imagine it's going to be pretty impressive for both of those. Thanks for listening.